Meanwhile, thanks for staying with us today. I'm Derek Francis. And I'm Annie Satowski. Of course, we've been saying it for a few weeks now. Those big groups lead to more risk. Yeah, now a Calvin University professor is proving it, giving us access to the data. Doug Reardon joining us live from home today, playing around with that COVID-19 risk calculator. Doug? Yeah, good afternoon, guys. His name is Neil Carlson, and he is the director of the Calvin University Center for Social Research. And this idea came to him after he read a blog post that kind of summarized the same concept. And all he did was took that information and put it down into an interactive graph that we can all use and we can all uh, plug in our own numbers to see uh, what exactly the risk would be of getting together in a group. And again, because of the governor's order that essentially orders everyone to stay in place, there aren't many big groups or gatherings. But down the road as that three weeks ends and as we uh, progress here in the months to come, this could be a very interesting tool for business leaders, for pastors, uh, for people weighing large events, family uh, get-togethers or weddings, perhaps. Uh, so let's take a look at how it works. And I'll move you in a little closer so that we can show uh, the actual map itself and some of the metrics that are available when you use it. So right here along your y-axis, this is the probability that a person in any given group could be affected at that time. And then it's pretty simple. On the x-axis, you have the number of people in a given group at any time. So what uh, Mr. Carlson did for this particular graph, as far as the metrics over here, was calculating a percentage, or sorry, a population uh, that's the Kent County population where Calvin University is. You can adjust these numbers again if you're in Kalamazoo County, if you're in Barry County, whatever you have, you can plug in your, your county's population or even uh, your workplace's population for that matter. This works on any way you want it to. Uh, this also has one death. That is the number of deaths we have in Kent County. And we know that the death rate and the infection rate are a ratio that work together. So that's where our numbers are coming from. So what we have here essentially is with one death and the numbers for infection associated with one death right now in a group of 100 people, that's a good metric to use. The chances that someone in that group of 100, the chances that someone in that group would be infected right now sit at 11 and a half percent. So you have to ask yourself, if you go to a church meeting, you go to a business meeting, would you want to sit next to someone if there's an 11 percent chance that they could be the one infected? So what happens if, as we're expected to do, we get more deaths and thus more infections? So let's say, for example, we get uh, five deaths. That's another good number to use. It's entirely possible here in Kent County. Now, with five deaths and the number of infections that come with that amount of deaths by that ratio in a group of 100, oh, we got to adjust it. All right, so now with five deaths in a group of 100 people, the chances someone in that group could be infected jump to 45 0.9%, so almost 50%, guys, flip of a coin. So uh, these are things that uh, Mr. Carlson says are very self-explanatory. They're just numbers, but he also wants people to keep in mind that they do represent less people in less groups means less infections. So hopefully if you need to convince someone, hey, you know, having a meeting is actually going to have potential serious risks, even though the numbers seem small to you, this tool might help. And that is the point, guys, to show in visualizing. We talk about it all the time. The government uh, has been talking about it. Large groups lead to a bigger, more infections. And this is just a good way to visualize it. And, guys, the Center for Social Research at Calvin has put together all sorts of interactive dashboards. They're tracking numbers around the world and around the country. So all you have to do is go to the website that's right on your screen right now, and you can play around with it and plug it in uh, as it pertains to your county or your workplace, guys. Uh, so we'll see you back here in the 6 o'clock hour for a little bit more on this. But for now, back to you guys in the studio. All right, something to think about indeed. Good point. Thank you, Doug.